Hello, today I'm going to show you how can we track progress of the task using actual duration and remaining duration. So let me go here in my project. You can see that I have phase one uh, design, six days for John. Okay. And percentage of complete is zero because you don't see any mark here. But I will, for this example, put some fields here and I will put here percentage of complete, actual duration, and remaining duration. Okay, I can put actual duration and remaining duration here, but I will not do it in this way. I will go to phase one design. I will check this task. I am going to go to choose task tab and mark on track update task. So you can see here, I explained this uh, in my previous video, that percentages co uh, of completeness can be put here. Actual duration is how many days did someone take on those tasks? By someone, I mean everyone. And I'm going to explain and show you the, uh, this very soon. Now, I have phase one design, you can see that only John is here. Let's say that we, that John spent four days on this task. If I put here four days, and if I click on OK, remaining duration will be changed to two days. Once again, here the task duration is six days. If I go mark to track, mark on track, update task, I can put here four days is actual duration. So actually, John worked on this task four days. And I don't have to put remaining duration is everything is OK. By that said, it means that if duration is, the total duration is six days, and I put here four days, remaining duration will be calculated. Let me hit on OK. And you will see that actual duration is four days, remaining duration is two days, and percentage of complete is calculated by four days, which is actual duration, divided by six, which is total duration. So four divided by six results is zero in 0 0.67, which is exactly 67%. Let me go back and put here zero. Now, let me, zero percent. Let me go here and let me update task in another way. Let's say that we spent, John spent four days on this duration, but he still needs to work eight days. When I put here eight, eight days, what will happen? First of all, actual duration plus remaining duration is total duration. So when I hit on OK, you will see that the total duration will be increased from 6 to 12 days. Actual duration here will be 4, remaining duration will be 8, and you will see the percentage of complete. So once again, actual duration is 4, this is how much time the, uh, uh, did resource or resources spent on the task, and remaining duration means how, uh, how, uh, how many days are still uh, remaining to work on that particular task. So 4 plus 8 is 12. Here it is. Duration is 12 days. Actual duration is 4. Remaining duration is 8, and the co percentage complete is 33%. 4 actual divided by 12 is 0 0.33, which is 33%. Okay, now let's go, let's go here. And let's say, no matter, now for a moment, just forget that John and Mary 
uh, worked a, a, a work didn't finish uh, John didn't finish his task or let's say he finished his task he worked the remaining uh, eight days and he completed them and sorry wrong task wrong task sorry guys here you should be careful 100% so you will see that 12 days is total duration and 12 days is actual duration because I hit 100% now let's go to phase one development, which is four days. Let's say that the, tot the actual duration is, let's say, one day, and remaining duration is nine days. That means that, or let's say two days, or maybe uh, it will be uh, better, and we need another eight days. So. That means that total duration is 10 days, actual is 2, remaining is 8, and the percentage of complete will be 2 divided by 10 is 20%. So you can say, but this is the same example like previous one. Yes, it is, but in this particular task, for phase 1 development, I have Ellen, Mary, and myself. So let's go here on view on task usage. And you will see if I go here and scroll to task that I have work and I will work, which is supposed to be done. And let me go here, someone here, and I will right click. I can do it wherever I want. So here, for example, right click and I will choose actual work. You will see that I put that actual duration is two days, remaining duration is eight days. So by that say, when I go to task usage, you will see that actual duration two days means that Mary, Ellen, and myself, we did our work in two days completely. So you cannot choose that actual duration is two days, but only Mary worked two days. Not in this way, you can choose it. I will cover it in my uh, next video, not the, uh, the very next one, but the second next one. So, but here, when you choose on a task level, that actual duration is two and days, and remaining duration is eight days, it means that actually work was done by Mary Ellen and Anna two days and the remaining work is eight days for all of them. So you will see Mary worked actually, you can see here actual work, okay, here, eight days Monday, uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Ellen as well, Nena as well, and how many days should we work? One two, three, four, five, six. Let's go back here, seven, eight, that's it. We have to work a day. So when you go, to conclude this video, when you go to task, mark on track, add a task, and you put actual remaining duration, actual duration apply to finished work, how many days were finished, were done for all resources. And how many days are still have to be worked on? Eight days for all resources. So for Mary, Ellen, and Anna. But remember that the uh, start and finish remains unchanged. So let's go back here and let me uh, uh, put introduction for my next clip and I will go back and put zero, and you can see that start is supposed to be on 19 of October and finished off 1st of November. When I go mark on track, update task, and I put, okay, two days and eight days, you will see, sorry, here it was, okay. 10 days, but I will put it now back to, let's say, uh, 8 days, and if I put, or 4 days, and if I put here, mark on track, 
update task. If I put, and the percentage complete is, sorry, sorry, 50%, I will put it zero. Okay, if I put here, for example, mark on track, update task, so actual duration is two, remaining duration is eight, you will see that actual start and actual finish, I didn't put anything here, actual start is going to be same as current start, 19th of October, and finish will be zero. Why? Because the task is not finished yet. So here you can see that actual start is here, 19th of uh, October, and uh, actual finish is 1st of November. Actual finish where it is planned to finish. It is exactly 10 days. So to conclude this video, when you have mark on track, update task, and you put actual duration and remaining duration for all resources, actual work will, uh, will be fulfilled for actual duration days, in my case two days, and remaining work will be spread to remaining duration, which is eight days, which can be seen here in my view, task usage view, so you will see actual duration is here, sorry, two days and remaining, two days and remaining duration is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, but actual start will not be changed. So hope this helps, see you in my next video in which I will explain actual start and actual finish date.